about him you may be committing shirk you know you may don't praise Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, too much why you be committing shirk and they are in contradiction to Sayyidina Muhammad's own teaching because Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said I fear not that my ummah will worship stones and, and idols again Never. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asimuhu. Because he is masoom. Do you see any Muslim in the world claiming that he worships Sayyidina Muhammad? Ever. No. Why? Because he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his honor with Allah is that none of his followers will ever claim what the Christians claim of Sayyidina Ali Because in our shahada every day we say Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu How then they accuse Muslims of shirk because they praise Prophet Sallallahu too much And what did Imam Qusayri say? Imam Qusayri wrote the most beautiful poem in the praise of Sayyid al-Khalq, Sayyidina Muhammad And he says, دَعْمَدْ دَعَتْهُ النَّصَارَ فِي نَبِيِّهِ وَحْكُمْ بِمَا شِئْتَ فِيهِ مَتْحًا وَحْتَكِمْ Leave, only leave what the Christians did to their Prophet, which is to say he is the son of God, or God. Leave that, and then the field is open for you to praise him. Don't hesitate. Don't hold back to pray Sayyidina Muhammad. Why? Because Allah in His ulab sent His praises and blessings on him. Every angel in existence has to make salawat on his beloved. Inna Allah wa malaikata. None excluded have to send salawat. 
Uh, th they have to pray Sayyidina Muhammad in every moment because he is also Rahmatan Lahum. Why? When we make salawat on Prophet Sallallahu we say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina. Allah says in Holy Quran, Inna Allah wa malaikatan yusallun ala al-Nabi. Ya ayuha al-ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allah, in his ula, in his greatness, in his magnificence, sending salawat on his beloved. What is Allah's salawat on his beloved? We know our salawat, we say, Oh, our Lord Allah, you send salawat. Because we're not clean enough to send salawat on that one. Subhanallah. We can't, we can't make salawat on him. We're not worthy to make salawat on him. So we ask our Lord, you make salawat on him. But what does it mean that Allah makes salawat on him? Because he is rahmatan lil alameen. And his rahmah has to reach you to be alive. Don't think rahmah is just guidance. No. The water you drink is rahmah. The breath you breathe is rahmah. Every means of rahmah in this world has to come from Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Through him, from Allah. So when Allah sends salawat on him, he is supporting him with the means of Rahmah. He is filling his treasure chest of Rahmah to disperse and distribute to the And to all creation. That's the meaning of Allah salawat. What is the meaning of angels salawat? Why the angels? Angels are masters. They don't need guidance. They can't make sense. If they say, uh, Rahmah is guidance. Why are the angels in need of that Rahmah? They're, they're infallible. They can't make sense. They have to obey Allah's word. He is their means of imdad. For them to serve their Lord and serve His creation, they have to receive the Rahmah from Prophet So when they're making salawat, they are also receiving from through Prophet ﷺ that means of Rahmah. In the same way, don't think that you are doing Sayyidina Muhammad ﷺ any favors by making salawat. The only person you're helping is yourself. Because what Allah say in the Holy Quran, you make salawat, Hadith, he says, Prophet ﷺ was standing, was sitting, and Sayyidina Jibreel السلام, came to him and he said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, Inna Allah salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sending you salam, and he is saying to you every time one person makes salawat on you from your ummah, Allah will make 10 on him. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. What does it mean? What does it mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be sent salawat on you and me because we say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa ala Sayyidina What is that honor? What did Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do when he heard that? He went in sajda. Sajda to shukrim. Thanking Allah. Why he's thanking? Because Allah gave him something. He's thanking him because of the of the honor, of the treasure, of the mercy that he was just bestowed on you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he knows the greatness of Allah. Because he knows what it means when Allah makes salawat on somebody. He knows the value of that gift and grant. And because he's so happy for his ummah that Allah is bestowing on them such a gift, such a treasure, he made such that shukr.
Thank you. What does Allah say in the Holy Quran? وَالَّذِي يُصَلِّ عَلَيْكُمْ وَالَّذِي يُصَلِّ عَلَيْكُمْ وَمَلَائِكَةً وَمَلَائِكَةٌ يُخْرِجَكُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ مِنَ الْحَرْمَةِ وَكَانَ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَحِيمًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explaining what his salawat is. He says, He is the one, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that when he makes salawat on you, he takes you out of the darkness into the light. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Out of the darkness of our ego, out of the darkness of our base, low desires, out of the darkness of our ignorance, of our oppression, out of the oppression of this dunya, this darkness. So don't think you can you can have light or be an enlightened person if you pray a million years. The only way is through the love of His beloved. Only when you love Sayyidina Muhammad then you are lifted out of the darkness. He is the means. Allah is not interested in our exercise. It's not a sport. You stand and pray. What is Allah getting from your standing and bowing and going up? If your heart is empty of love, Subhanallah. He's not looking. Allah informed us in, in Holy Hadith. He doesn't look at your sword. Your, he looks at your heart. Is my servant's heart full of taqwa or full of dunya? Is it full of love or full of hate and anger? What Allah wants is He. And he said, Prophet ﷺ, he said, Taqwa, Taqwa is what, on, what makes you, your rank low or high. Because Prophet ﷺ says, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Holy Quran says, The most honored amongst you in the presence of Allah is the one with the most taqwa. And we know who that one is. And then the levels of human beings are according to how much taqwa they have in their heart. How do we acquire that taqwa? In the hadith where he said, Prophet Sallallahu Taqwa is here, Taqwa is here, Taqwa is here, three times. They say the meaning, literal meaning is that, as we all understand, that Taqwa is in the, Taqwa's place is in the heart. And that's how most ulama explain this hadith. But Ahlul Haqqaiq, People of realities. They say when Sayyidina Muhammad said, At-taqwa ha huna, at-taqwa ha huna, at-taqwa ha huna. What he is saying is, I am the vessel and container of taqwa. This heart is. Subhanallah. And your only way of acquiring that taqwa is by having a direct link to his heart. From your heart to his heart. How? Through love. Through mahabba, no mahabba, no connection, no taqwa. We're looking and we're seeing all the problems nowadays in the Muslim world. What is the, is the common thing amongst those who have no mercy in their hearts? Those who kill with no thinking in the name of Islam is they are lacking the love and respect of Prophet Muhammad Nothing else. Because when you disrespect him, 
When you don't love him, your heart is cut off from that mercy. That mercy cannot live here anymore. That taqwa is not here anymore. So anything can happen. You can believe you are serving Islam and you are a shaitan in the garb of a human being. You can kill Muslim in the name of Islam. No mercy. And he is mercy. You're following the religion of Allah, the Lord of mercy. In his book, you read every day, which starts with Surah Al-Fatiha. What do we read every day? What do you start? A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Does it say Bismillahir Qawil Jabbar? Does it say Bismillahir Muntaqib? Ar Rahman. Ar Rahim. Allah. Starts his book within the name of your Lord, the Merciful One. And then informs you, I am saying, in the name of Islam, killing, destroying. And they're saying they're following Sayyidina Muhammad. And they're saying they're following his religion. What religion they're following? We don't know. Because we know the religion of Sayyidina Muhammad is nothing but mercy. I don't know what's right. Five more minutes? He said, Sallallahu, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, لا يرحم الله إلا رحيم. Allah will not have mercy on anyone who is not merciful himself. And he said, Irhamu man fil ardi, irhamu man fil sama. Have mercy on those, the inhabitants of earth, the Lord of heavens will have mercy on them. And look what he did. A lady. Even animals you have to be merciful in Islam. One lady tied a cat. And the cat could not go and fetch her own food and die. Prophet said, for that she's going to hell. Another lady from Bani Israel was a prostitute. She saw a dog going around the pond and looking like he's going to die from thirst. She took her shoes and she filled them and gave him water. Prophet said the doors of heaven open for that lady for that action. This is the religion of mercy. This is the prophet of mercy. This is the example of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What religion they're bringing us? Whose way they are following? These murderers, these criminals, trying to convince us that Islam is to terrorize people, is to kill people. What religion? Subhanallah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, teach your kids about prophets. You want them to be happy here and hereafter? Find ways to plant the seed of love in their heart so that they, once that love takes hold, heaven will open to them. And this dunya will be happiness for them. You want to save them? Teach him about him. You want them to love him? Yes. And find those who love him. And yeah. be with him. Yeah. Find Ahl Muhammad Rasulullah. Yeah. And sit with him. Yeah. And that love will transfer to your heart. Yeah. 
Because what's the alternative? If that love is not there, and these shaitans will come. And will tell your kids, this is Islam. To destroy it. You want to go to heaven? Come blow yourself up. Because we are not doing our duties with our, with our young ones. We are not raising them on the love of Prophet We are not instilling in them that love. And when that heart is empty of that love, then anything can enter. Dunya can enter. Shaitan. Hawa. Vain desires. So if we want our happiness for our children, it's not just in colleges, universities, good jobs. It's temporary. Eternal happiness is to have a heart full of love of Satan yourself. If you leave this dunya with that love, don't worry. Don't worry for you. Because why? Because you love the beloved of Allah. Subhanallah. Why do you expect now Muhammad? He's a Rasul of who? Allah. May Allah make us all true lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad. May Allah make us all have a real Baha'u. And make our kids also lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad.